Let me tell you something you probably already know, but secretly wish wasn't true. Every single day, thousands of chicks around the world die before they are even two weeks old. Some never fully open their eyes. Some start gasping for air. Others wobble, fall over, and die silently before the farmer even realizes something is wrong. And when it happens, it doesn't happen small. It's not one chick. It's not two. It's 20, 30, sometimes 50 or more out of just 100 chicks gone in the first week. No eggs, no meat, no profit, just heartbreak, wasted feed, wasted electricity, and that painful feeling that says, I did everything right, so why is this happening? Now here's the part that shocks most farmers. Most of these chicks are not dying from some rare, untreatable disease. They are dying because their immune systems never stood a chance. And today, I'm going to show you why. But first, if you raise chicks, stay with me until the end of this video, because one simple mistake in the first 10 days could be costing you your entire flock. Quick question before we continue back end index pointing down. Where are you watching from right now? Drop in the comments. I read them all. Now let's continue. The real killer no one talks about. Most farmers blame disease, but disease is often just the final punch. The real killer is something far more silent, something far more common, stress-induced immune collapse. In simple terms, the chick's natural defense system shuts down before it even develops. And when that happens, even mild bacteria become deadly. Here's what most people don't realize. Day-old chicks are born with immature immune systems. They depend on antibodies passed from the mother through the egg yolk. But those antibodies begin to fade between day 3 and day 10. And here's the danger zone. By the time those antibodies fade, the chick's own immune system is still weak, slow, and inexperienced. It's like sending a child into a heavyweight boxing match. They don't stand a chance. Now it's stress. Heat stress. Cold nights. Vet litter. Dirty drinkers. Poor airflow. Transport shock. Handling stress. Each one chips away at immunity. Until one day, the system collapses. That's when bacteria like E. coli strike. That's when respiratory viruses take hold. That's when mortality explodes. And by the time you notice it, it's already too late. The cost farmers don't calculate. Let's talk reality. When you lose chicks early, you don't just lose birds. You lose feed already consumed, electricity and brooding fuel, labor, time, and future income. Even losing 30 chicks in the first week can erase your entire profit margin. And worse, it destroys confidence. Many farmers quietly quit not because they're bad farmers, but because no one taught them how to protect immunity early. But what if you could strengthen immunity before disease ever arrives? What if you could prepare the chick's system like armor? So when stress comes, it doesn't collapse? That's where today's solution comes in. The kitchen shelf immune shield. What if I told you? There's a natural combination sitting in many kitchens that can support chick immunity from day one. Not a drug, not an antibiotic, not a vaccine replacement, but a baseline immune booster, a foundation. When used correctly, it helps the chick strengthen gut health, improve nutrient absorption, reduce harmful bacteria load, respond better to vaccines, survive stress periods. That combination is clove and black pepper. And no, this is not folklore. This is biology. Let me explain why this works. Why the gut decides life or death. Over 70% of a chick's immune system lives in the gut. If the gut is weak, nutrients don't absorb, harmful bacteria multiply, immunity collapses. Clove contains eugenol. Eugenol has been shown to suppress harmful gut bacteria, reduce inflammation, support white blood cell activity. Act as a natural antimicrobial. Black pepper contains piperine. Piperine is a bioenhancer. 
Think of it as a door opener. It helps nutrients, vitamins, and herbal compounds cross the gut wall and enter the bloodstream faster. Alone, each helps. Together, they create synergy. Clove reduces microbial pressure. Black pepper improves absorption. Result? Better gut health. Stronger immune signaling. Improved resilience. Not magic. Just timing and biology. Before we go further, if this information is already helping you understand why chicks die early, take one second to like this video, share it with another farmer. Subscribe if you want weekly proven poultry tips. This channel exists to help farmers win before problems start. Now, let's get practical. How to prepare the tonic. Ingredients. Whole cloves. Whole black pepper seeds. Clean water. Preparation. 1. Lightly crush the cloves and pepper. Do not powder them. 2. Boil clean water. 3. Add the crushed ingredients. 4. Simmer gently for about 10 minutes with the lid on. 5. Allow to cool. 6. Strain using a clean cloth or sieve. You now have a concentrated herbal tonic. Dosage. Mix a small measured amount into clean drinking water. Use for the first five days of life. Repeat during known stress periods, such as before or after vaccination. Optional. Once weekly until four weeks of age. Storage. Keep in a cool, dark place. Use fresh whenever possible. Consistency matters more than strength. Why some farmers fail with this? Let me save you from common mistakes. Mistake 1. Overdosing. More is not better. Too much clove can irritate the gut. Mistake 2. Dirty drinkers. Herbs and dirty water cancel themselves out. Mistake 3. Inconsistent use. Skipping days breaks immune rhythm. Mistake 4. Skipping vaccines. This tonic supports, not replaces, vaccination. Avoid these mistakes and results improve dramatically. Aren't vaccines enough? This question comes up a lot. Vaccines train the immune system against specific diseases. They do not. Improve gut health. Reduce bacterial overload. Build general immunity. Protect against stress. This tonic acts as the foundation. A stronger body responds better to vaccines. Weak bodies fail even with vaccines. Both work best together. What if chicks are already sick? This works best as a preventive. In early or mild cases, it can support recovery. But severe illness still requires. Correct treatment. Good management. Herbs and science are partners, not enemies. Three takeaways you must remember. One, the first 10 days decide everything. Two, early immunity is cheaper than treatment. Three, small daily actions compound into survival and profit. Clean water, correct temperature, measured herbal support, consistent care. That's how healthy flocks are built. Track daily mortality. Observe activity levels. Compare results. Most farmers are shocked by the difference. You have more control than you think. If this video helped you, like it, subscribe, share it with a farmer who's struggling. Let's raise stronger flocks, one smart decision at a time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.